Good afternoon, everybody. So um, this is me, and uh, as you can see, ever since I was a really little kid, I wanted to become a really famous musician, and I wanted to play and be able to play a lot of different instruments as well. But I also noticed, I learned that while well, trying all these things, it took me many, many hours a day to actually uh, be able to play such that anybody could well listen to my music. So this was not really the thing that I was uh, created for, I guess. So what I liked a lot better was making things, making all kinds of new technology, uh, gadget things like. And um, I was starting making robots after I think the age of 18 or something. And I was really lucky to learn that there was actually more geeks like me that like to make robots as well. So I found some friends with uh, with whom we started a group. We call ourselves Team Dare, and we started making robots for all kinds of different purposes. So we played a lot of robot games, like playing golf with robots. Uh, we did robot wars. Um, but all these years of making robots, I also learned that um, to be able to make music was also a, a sort of a dream that which I wanted to realize. So we decided to sort of combine this and start making robots that play acoustic musical instruments. So we started with making a guitar robot, which you can see here on, your, uh, on the left side, which is actually uh, a device with six fingers, which uh, pulls a string with uh, electrical drives with uh, 12 motors driving these fingers. And it has also 27 pneumatic fingers, which you see on the, on the top right, which uh, push the, the strings to generate the right tone. Now, and with all these fingers, you can imagine that you can actually play a lot more than a human is capable of playing, because you have a lot of more fingers than a human has. So let's, uh, let's see how this sounds. So you can imagine having all these pneumatic fingers in the, in the neck requires quite a lot of air. And um, air is something, well, uh, if you want to generate it, it normally makes quite a lot of noise. If you have a compressor, we can't really afford to, to, to have a compressor here on the stage because it would have a lot of noise, you don't hear the band anymore. So we have quite a simple solution for that, which are these uh, diving cylinders we use to, uh, to actually power the robots. And actually, a very big benefit of these guys, these, these guys is that you can actually rent them also in Rome, we learned, so, which is really great. So we started playing together with other musicians, with the guitar. But what we also discovered this, is that musicians are not really uh, capable of uh, sort of following the, the beat of the guitar. They, they, they have their own beat and, and the guitar was out of sync, so this was sort of really uh, difficult to play together with others. So we decided that there was only one real solution uh, to, for this problem, and that was to build the drums, because the, everybody's following the drum, of course. So we built the drum uh, in sort of the same sense as we did with the, uh, with the guitar. So we created a lot of hands for every part of the drums, and also we try to uh, be able of playing the drums in a better way as humans are capable of doing this. Uh, better in a sense, uh, what we did actually is that with uh, one stick, the robot can actually uh, play it that fast as a human can do with two sticks. So we can really uh, play really fast songs. So let's hear the, 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 the drums and the guitar playing together.
So we started performing also with other musicians, with the drums and the guitar, which went really well. But it wasn't always uh, easy to find good singers for our band. So we decided we needed some, some thing, some instrument that would replace the singer. So we, we started looking for an, uh, for an instrument that can play long tones. So we thought, let's, uh, let's do the pen flute, because the pen flute seems like a simple instrument to play, because it had a lot of, a lot of pipes with a lot of different tones, so well, it should be capable of, uh, of robotizing this instrument as well. But it turned out to be the most difficult instrument up to, up to that point, because actually if you have one pipe of the, of the pan flute, from that pipe you should try to get both the whole tone as well as the semitone. And um, you need quite a lot of science to be able to, uh, to, to realize that. And actually it turned out that you are also really well capable of getting every tone between the, the whole tone and the half tone uh, out of the flute. So it's really difficult to, to create a real nice tone out of this uh, instrument. So we ended up designing a, a sort of a lip, lip kind of structure using, uh, using 3D printed rubber, really soft rubber. Uh, to sort of replace the lips and to be uh, to, to adapt to the uh, to the size of the of each individual pipe. I do have some pictures as well. I need to so let's hear some uh, some song with the pan flute as well. behind it. Um, there's actually also Arduinos inside this robot, so look what you can, uh, can do with, uh, with these kinds of devices. So we started uh, sort of forming a real band and, and then you can imagine that the next, the fourth instrument to sort of complete a, a real basic band would be uh, the bass line. So we decided to go for uh, the big guy here on the, on the right and uh, to robotize the double bass player which was also a huge challenge because it's quite a long instrument and in order to play it, uh, the fast tones that, it, that we would like it to play you need really fast motion uh, along the neck of these, uh, these fingers which was quite a challenge as well so um, yeah, I guess that's the last song we're going to play a song with all the instruments together with a little bit of focus on the double bass So, like I said, we were performing with, uh, with other musicians and uh, I think we have a picture here as well. And this is, this is actually showing the great thing of a robot band. It's the band playing on shuffle mode, continuous play, and we are drinking beers on the bar. We're on the, on the, on the right and from the left hand side. So I guess that's, that's what we are make, making robots for, isn't it? Such that we can drink beer. Maybe not, not to bring us a beer, but such that we can drink beer. So another two pictures of, uh, of us playing together with the uh, with the big band on the uh, on the left, and also uh, well, better these maybe you don't know it, but it's a really famous theater in uh, in the Netherlands, uh, which we were pretty proud of playing. 
Um, but what's sort of lacking here in these pictures, and what you see here as well, I guess, is a sort of a theater that you want to have if you have a robot, or if you have a, if you have a band on stage, you only have a singer which is entertaining you always. So this is something which is uh, uh, our next pro uh, project. We are, have bought a puppet. It's about this high, and it's made for uh, sort of a handle so that you can put your hand in. So we are now making a mechanism inside this puppet such that it can dance on the stage and entertain the audience. So this is our gig list. We're uh, touring quite a lot. And uh, of course our current uh, performance is here at the Mega Fair. So starting tomorrow afternoon, we are playing in, uh, in a tent here, just outside of the, the uh, theater. So you can come by, watch uh, the instruments from uh, really nearby, and we can explain how it works, how we did it. So please come by. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.